You're on now. I'm on now. You're on now. Question of the day. Anybody? <laughs> Does anyone drink, drink Earl, Earl Grey tea? tea? What does it taste like? Because in my mind, it tastes like mop water. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Mop water. Okay. <laughs> I just can't imagine that something called Earl Grey tastes like amazing. Okay, I can hear myself. Good morning, <laughs> Diana. <laughs> Diana, you know a lot of stuff. What does Earl Grey tea yeah, taste really? like? I want to know, but I don't want to taste it. <laughs> it tastes like regular tea. Someone's going to chime in and be like, it's amazing. Probably. And I'll, Probably. Then I'll try it, and then I won't think it's good. I don't like tea. <laughs> Hi, Sue Smith. Hi. I like sweets, like like um, the berry teas, hi, which Judy. Earl Grey doesn't sound berry-like. <laughs> she, she's busy. I'll say hi. Hi, Shelby. Hi. <laughs> hi, Jackie. Marlene hi, and Cheryl. I are having a very deep conversation <laughs> hi, about tea. Hi, hi Diana. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Good hi, morning. Connie. Barb and Marlene are here, so don't forget to say hi to Marlene, too. We haven't had her in a couple weeks. Well, I wasn't here last week. And she was busy the week before, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> but she's back. We're back. The band's back together. Oh, yeah. Ding and dong are in the house. <laughs> yeah, ding and dong are in the house. That's true. <laughs> I just got a notification that So Many Creations is live. Oh. Thanks, Facebook. Did I? I did. Did I get one? Just in I case I didn't know, watch. I'm here. Okay. All right. Now oh we're just ridiculous. Oh, my God, ridiculous. I didn't get a notification. <clears throat> it's time to get down to business. Count. I'm here. It's 11.01. It's time to get down to business. Oh, there's a lot of people on here, so. Okay, good. Good morning, oh, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I, oh. Drink, uh, uh, I drink Earl Grey every day. It's my favorite. Who said that? Shelly Schaefer. Shelly, what does it taste like? <laughs> it tastes like tea. It tastes like tea, I know. It tastes like ding and dong. Hello to ding and dong. Um. Okay, now that we're completely off topic yeah. as usual sorry guys <laughs> i'm a coffee drinker i don't drink tea and when it comes to coffee i i'm in it for the creamer i'm not gonna lie i like my coffee sweet, sweet. i like it light like me like light this. and sweet um <laughs> not really i don't like i wish i could drink black coffee i feel like it would make my life easier because how do you want it black End of story. I don't need anything no special, but I can't. And no calories. I can't do we it. We have a question. Oh, <laughs> there's already there's already a question about my rambling. Yes. Well, this is if myself and Marlene are ding and dong, what do we call you? Oh, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we will, we'll be nice. We won't answer that don't one. Don't answer that. We'll come up with something. We'll my, come up, yeah. <laughs> my husband calls me honey because I don't think he remembers my name half the time. But it would be weird if ding and dong called me honey. So I yeah. don't know. We don't have a name for me. And no, I don't want any suggestions. <laughs> Ding dong, the witches. <laughs> I'm done. Goodbye. Okay. Let's get to business, you meanies. All right. Mean Marlene? It's November 20th. Marlene's nickname is Mean Marlene. That's right. So, anyway. <laughs> hey, it's true. I'm so off topic today. Oh, the queen. That's what we're supposed to call you, the queen. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I wasn't here last week, and so when you're, even though I was here for you guys, I wasn't here in my seat, and it just, I'm always like super excited that next Friday when I'm like, I'm back, and I have lights again, and I have internet, and hopefully it's working well for you guys. Okay, before you go on, oh, we oh. have a description of Earl oh, Grey no. tea. Okay, yes, yes, I'm, I'm into it. It's black tea with kind of a flowery aroma. It's got bergamot, which gives it the flower scent. Mm. It's not sweet, but you could add sweetener. Thank okay. Thank you, Shelly. And that doesn't sound as bad as my brain said that it would be. Okay, All right, maybe I'll try the it. The good witch. The good witch. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm the one that got the house dropped on her. Okay, so like, follow, and share as I always ask you to. Welcome if you're watching this on YouTube. You know how many YouTube followers we have? I'm very excited about this. We have oh, 403. Wow. I already checked, but you can check again. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm checking. I know it's not like you know. A million like some people but still I have 400 people watching me on YouTube and I don't know if they all watch on Facebook I don't know how they found me if you're here from YouTube tell me how you found us because I'd love to know um, the group had 612 this morning I don't think anything's changed okay yes and groupies group members um, I don't want to be mean or anything but if you are you know kindly advertising and telling people to join the group or if you are trying to join the group and you've never watched our videos before, you do have to answer the two very simple questions. And if you don't answer them, I am not letting you in. And I know that that's mean, but here's here's my here's my reasoning. I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I've seen some people being mean, not in our group, 
because we don't allow that. In other groups, the bigger they get, and I am starting to branch out to people whose names I don't recognize, people who I don't see in our orders, mm -hmm. who I don't see here. So I just want to know, do you know me? Do you know my patterns? Do you understand that it's not a general bag making group? So the questions are not meant to be mean. I am not trying to be harsh with anybody, but it's like two clicks and you're in. That's it. So please, if you invite anybody, tell them they have to answer the questions. That's all. So I, I had to say no because I need people to, I need people to follow the rules. There's rules <laughs> for a reason. <sighs> Um, if you are local, we are still open. The pop-up shop is still here. We are still open for shopping. And if you want to do curbside pickup, um, I've had a couple people that wanted to just pick up instead of waiting for shipping. Shipping is free, but if you can get it quicker, I understand. So don't forget that that's always an option. If you want to pick up, just put a note in your order that says, you know, can I come on this day or can I pick up and I'll email you and we'll talk about it. I don't have set hours. I am here Monday through Friday way too early in the morning. Um, I would not think that anybody would want to come here at 7 a.m., but I do. Uh, but I try not to put my hours out there just in case for some reason I'm not here. So if you want to come visit us, just send me an email, let me know. And the holidays are rapidly approaching. Next week is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit, I don't even know what to say about that because I feel like we just started November and now Thanksgiving is in less than a week. So don't forget, if you don't know what you want, let those spouses, boyfriends, girlfriends, daughters, mothers, sisters, let them know that we have gift cards. I don't even know if I want to know what is going on. Do I want to know? Charlie, you're funny. Charlie, are you be Charlie? <laughs> He's in Pete's friends. You can change your name to so many creations. <laughs> I like it. Charlie, Charlie. oh my God. Charlie, I love you. Um, and I might, I, the group might now be called So Meanie Creations. Listen, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to avoid to all so the- So many meanie creations. Be, so many meanies. So many meanies. But I'm the only one that's not a meanie. Okay. That's um, your opinion. <laughs> that's your opinion. Listen, I want our group to grow. I want nice people in it. And if you're not going to be nice and you're not going to answer my questions, then go, go, go join a different group. This is a nice group and I'm making sure of it because I will just- delete you real quick. This is why we're here is to be nice to each other. <laughs> right? Right. Right. Okay. Right. Yes, boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, queen, excuse me. Just just a little FYI, um my our shop cell phone that I answer for my husband's business, I don't know who set up the phone. I have no idea who put the information in, but his number comes up as boss man and <laughs> I noticed not that long ago um cuz I think I think we were in the truck together and it picked up on that phone and my name in his phone is Mrs. Boss Lady. I don't know which one of the mechanics put that in there and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. so whatever. I don't need, to, whatever. <laughs> so you can call me something nice, you. I'm yep. looking at you, not her, you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, <laughs> she's the meanie one. She's, she's not mean, mean to me. Not mean to Jeff. Unless she's, she's hungry. Afraid of you. So, <laughs> I'm hungry. Next Friday is Black Friday, and none of us are going Black Friday shopping mm -hmm. because COVID, and it's cold, at least in New York, and I don't want to get up early in the morning and deal with people and wear a mask all day long. So, we're having a big Black Friday sale okay. next week. I don't know what we will have on top of that, if there will be any demos or not, I haven't decided. It all depends on how the rest of this week goes. But we have a lot of um, fabric like this that's already packaged and cut up that my ladies here have already taken and done all the work and it's hanging up in the shop. It's here for shoppers. We do sell some of it, but this was packaged for the shows that wah, wah, I'm not going to. So rather than it sitting here on a shelf in bags, we're gonna use a lot, we're gonna put a lot of this in the pop-up sale. I also have tons Zipper. of Biani zippers. I love these zippers, but I'm not selling them anymore. There's so many colors, it's hard to put on the website and keep up with, and we have our own zippers. So I know these two things for sure are going to be in next week's pop-up sale. I don't know if there'll be any other stuff. Marlene was not here for the first one. She gets her first taste of what how a pop-up sale goes. It's gonna be fun. And you guys are all going to be super nice to me because you have to. And we're gonna do our pop-up sale and I don't know if there will be other things added to it. I have no idea. Those are the main things, are the package fabric and the zippers. And we'll kind of see from there how it goes. Next Friday is the 27th. So a few more days and um, the sale will be over. So it's November 20th. We have 10 more days until the sale is over. So if there's anything that you wanna order, 
This does not include pop-up sales stuff. That's always totally separate. We'll go over the rules again next week. Um, and I'll probably put up a post the day before just kind of reiterating some of the, you know, the, how the pop-up sale works. I'm probably also going to take the fabric page of the website temporarily down either Thursday afternoon or Friday morning in case there's anything on there I don't want to I hate when I sell out of something and somebody has placed an order and someone else is trying to get something so I might temporarily take that page down until we're done with our pop-up sale um, and also don't forget we also have 10 more days for our holiday swap so if you have not shipped yours out Barb and me um, Mine's done. Mine is mine is halfway done. It's going out on Monday. Uh, if you have not shipped your holiday swap, make sure you get that in the mail by the 30th. Which what day is that? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is that Monday? Monday. Monday. Monday the oh 30th. So a week from this Monday. Thank you, Marlene. I was like, I think I'm doing math right, but I can never be sure. So, yeah. wow. um, let's see. I have some new stuff to show you and I have a couple of quick little demos to do today and I have some other gift um, suggestions for you guys. Before we get into all of that, I'm gonna do a quick technology minute and then our grateful, cause I have a couple things to say um, that I just need to get off my chest and just put out there cause you guys are always very, you know, well received when I tell you things. Um, quickly, our technology minute. I already did it, I already posted it. So did you guys see the quick little video I did on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday? I don't remember what day. But it was showing you how to save posts or videos from like different groups or from the page and put them into your own little folders. Because a lot of times I've been noticing, I think as we get more and more of these videos, that people are like, didn't you do one on rivets? Or do you have a suggestion on this? Or how do you iron decor bond? And it's a nice way to kind of save those little things so that you don't have to go searching for them later in the group or later in um, on the page. So I did show you that. And if you guys like that and you want me to do on any other videos, I know a couple people are still unsure as to how to post pictures on the group. If there's anything you want, shout it out, let me know. I will be happy to make some quick little videos so that you can see me doing it step by step and make it easier for you. Um, if I can share with you some things on Facebook I'm happy to I don't know everything on Facebook there's still things that baffle me but if there's something I can do to make your technology and your um, you know Facebook life a little bit easier let me know so that is on there um, somebody said they saw it and they use it all the time perfect and I have been because I have been in the office uh, much more frequently I have been keeping up with YouTube so everything has been posted to YouTube I, a video like that I didn't put on there if you want me to I can I don't know where you guys like to watch videos if it's on the page here or if you like to you look on YouTube um, but I've been keeping up so we've got lots of stuff on there including the double zipper how to put two poles on that is also on YouTube and I posted that last Friday I believe uh, when I was away so a couple of people have asked for tips on that so I posted that for you I don't mind making quick little videos for you guys because I know it's easy to sometimes just click on a video instead of reading or watching back on things so that was that and okay so before we get into some of the things that are new on the website um, and some other things I just wanted to say a few things and this is in reference to um, a very <laughs> poor situation I had to deal with via email a couple weeks ago as well as something that happened with my local shop earlier this week and because I <laughs> I don't want to be super negative and, and mean and actually I don't care if the person is watching because sometimes we just need a reminder that we are all human beings and kindness goes a long way and I'm not saying that I make everybody happy and I'm everyone's cup of tea and that you can love everything I do but when you need something when you need to ask a question what is that saying you get more flies with honey you know than vinegar mm -hmm. whatever it is there's so many of them just take a step back before you hit that send button before you post that post before you do anything and say how would I feel if I was reading this? How would I feel if I got this email or if this was on my Facebook page or if one of my friends said this to me? I'm not gonna get deep into it, but I received an email um, a couple weeks ago and I was more than happy to help. I, I'm always happy to help. You guys know, you message me and you email me all the time. You ask me questions on here. I'm happy to give you any knowledge I can and help you. If you email me 15 times about the same pattern, I'm still gonna answer you. But when you automatically take it to another turn and tell me that I'm a horrible human being, it kind of makes it hard for me want, to want to deal with you. And when I feel that you're just trying to get something out of me for free, I my hackles are gonna go up, I'm gonna get a little angry about it. So just 
reread it before you send it. And I've done it a lot. I've called my mom and said, can I read this email to you? Does this sound okay before I hit the send button? Because I, I don't want to offend anybody and I don't want to come in hot right away. So, and I'm sure you guys, you have businesses too. Same you thing. understand. I'm not saying that you have to go, oh, you're just so wonderful and here's what I need. Just say, I have a question. Can you help me? Instead of just, because once I hear that, I, I'm kind of not interested in, in going much further with you. And so it happened. I've moved on. I put it in a folder. I have a special folder in my computer for things like that. <laughs> I don't look at it very often, but I tuck it away. But I also, I also have a special folder that says um, smiles. And whenever somebody just sends me a random email that just says nice things for no reason, I put it in there too. So did you lose the thing? Oh, no. okay. <laughs> you, got, no. you got to look like it was gone. Um, because Wi-Fi is great here. So, <laughs> no, um, here, it's fine. I'm again, I'm not going to get deep into this because it's not it's not my battle and it's over, but uh, my local quilt shop that I talk to you guys about all the time, Log Cabin, a lot of you are local. A lot of you that even aren't local, I, maybe because of me mentioning them, you've started to follow them. You watch our videos over there. Um, we are in, on a temporary hiatus right now because of um, circumstances beyond anyone's control. Some things went on. Again, I'm not going to get deep into it, but if you would just remember that any small business right now could possibly be in a bad situation, has to be extra careful, has to really watch what's going on, you know, being careful with employees, being careful with customers. Anybody that comes in here to shop has to have a mask on. You know, we generally have our masks on when we're working, when we're right together, because we have to be careful and extra careful right now. And when something happens and we have to shut something down or close something, or we can't do something we intended on doing, 99% of the time it's not out of a frivolous need. It's not because we just decided not to. It's usually because there's an issue. You guys know, what was it, like a month or two ago when I lost power? I didn't want to lose power. I didn't want to be freezing my butt off in my house. It's the way that it happens. So when you see that somebody is struggling with something, maybe just take a step back before you immediately attack them. It's not necessary and it just makes a bad situation worse. And if you aren't um, following Log Cabin or if you haven't watched the videos, go on over to their page, uh, you know, give them a follow, like their page, maybe tell them something nice, whatever. Just pass the kindness forward. That's all that I'm asking for you. It's, uh, it's that we should always be doing that, but especially with everything going on right now, I think we really have to keep that in mind. Barb is choking. <laughs> I wasn't sure why she was getting up. She She's got a okay. tickle. I, I can tell. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> you guys can't hear her. <laughs> I hate when you get a tickle and you're trying to talk and it just doesn't work. Um, so I keep seeing this little um, picture post uh, pop up on my Facebook feed. Maybe you guys have seen it 15 times this week like I have. Maybe you haven't. Um, I'm probably not going to get all the words right, but it was something that just kind of struck me, you know, these little sayings, but you kind of, they stick with you. And it was something along the lines of uh, 2020 is not the year to get what you want, but the year to be thankful for what you have. And in saying that, what I am grateful for this week is my health. And I don't know where all of you stand, if all of you can say that or feel that same way. I hope that you are. I hope all of you are watching me and you're healthy and happy right now. Um, unfortunately, a friend of mine is in the hospital right now due to COVID complications. And not that I ever didn't really think about it before, but when it hits super close to home, you think about it even more. And I just, I don't think any of us can take that for granted right now. So um, I hope that you're all healthy. I hope that even if you are having any struggles, that things are moving in a positive note or that you can find other things you're happy with. I have to, you know, I have to be happy about that right now because I'm not in the hospital and I do feel good and things are going well. So that is what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my wonderful friends and I hope that my friend who's in the hospital gets out real soon so she can, you know, get back to her normal day-to-day -day life and just, you know, move past this sickness. So that is what I am grateful for. Um, girls, anything that you would like to throw in? Anything you're feeling extra grateful for this week that you want to tell everybody? No. Every me. <laughs> <laughs> We're grateful for you. Jess. They're so silent always, and they never always. are. And health, <laughs> without without a health. Doubt. health without a doubt. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And whether you're dealing with something small, like you stubbed your toe yesterday, or you're dealing with a chronic illness, I hope right. that you are feeling well and that things move in a good way for you. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So that's it.
So now that I bummed you all out, let's talk about <laughs> bags. Um, I had to, I just had to say it. Um, we talk about it like every week and just just be nice people. It's exactly it'll get you much further in life. You know, stand up for yourself when you need to, but pick your battles, especially right now. You never know what people are dealing with. You never know what people have going on in their lives that you don't see that you're not privy to. We all have stuff going on. So just take an extra minute to be nice, you know, mm -hmm. smile at somebody, even though they can't see you right now. <laughs> can't see anyone with a mask on. You can see the smile. So, okay. <laughs> so we're going to move forward. Um, okay, so last week I showed you guys um, the new canvas we got in and the new cork, and I did post a picture. On my end, my video was in and out because of the Wi-Fi, because I was in the mountains. It was not great. It was also raining. Um, but then I looked at it later before I uploaded it to YouTube, and it wasn't bad. So I hope you guys got a pretty clear picture. I don't know, because this is one of those things about Facebook I don't understand. Are they better afterwards after they're not live? Do they get better? I don't know, but I feel like maybe maybe I thought it was horrible and it wasn't as bad. So hopefully everything is clear for you right now. Uh, but I did show you those and I posted some pictures. You guys have been loving the canvas. I think we've already mm -hmm. gone through a couple bolts, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Um, and I said this last week and I'm just gonna remind you one more time. Line work is pretty much gone. Oh, we are down mm -hmm. to uh, the stripes, the dots, and the black on black or the white on white or the white on white. The maybe we're the animals are gone. So and yeah. we have some of the jelly rolls and some of the charm packs. But that went so quick. If you have placed an order for any of the ribbon, whether it was one of the the full um, sets, the um, bundles, or individually, I am being told that they're coming in December, which is not that far away at this point. But as soon as it comes in, your orders will be shipped out. So um, I did update the listing on that. So I showed you the new Lola in our Dragonfly Garden, which you guys have been loving too. Um, and you guys like it, isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. And it's so soft, I love it. So I'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying that. And I put up two new cross country totes. So I thought I would show you those because I didn't show you when I was um, away last weekend. So, oh, there's my phone charger. <laughs> um, things you find when you unpack. I hate to say it, but I'm still, <laughs> 25 to 30% packed in my car. I haven't taken everything out. So these are up on the website. This is one of the new canvases. This is the Earth Magic. Earth Magic. I always want to uh -huh. say Moon Garden. Moon I don't know what that something. is. But it's a really pretty teal. It's almost it's identical to the teal it cork. Is. I did another bag, and I'm going to show you, with the pastel green, but I did this one with the rust. And even though they're not like you wouldn't think to match those. I just really liked how that looked. I think it looks like a leather handle. Mm -hmm. yep. So that is up on the website. And sorry, the time of the day has come where I'm hot. <laughs> okay. And this is why I wear layers. I can't show you what's in here yet. Hold on. Hold on. And this one. I love this canvas. That's pretty. I absolutely love this. <clears throat> so this is the Don't ask Navy me. Menagerie. Something like that. Um, it's Ooh. right. Menagerie is the other one with the funky stuff on it. I don't know. The gold on it. Um, I don't know what it is. Well, whatever. It's on Navy the website. Flowers. Floral. <laughs> Navy floral. There it floral. is. Floral. I don't. I don't know. It's up there. I use the pearl teal on this. Just love that. And this is from Juniper with the gold inside. So those two kits are up on the website. I was sewing those when I was talking to you guys last week. And there's also a bunch of new thread colors, which I know a lot of you saw because we've been selling them. Uh -huh. We have a thread color for pretty much every cork at this point, and I still have more thread coming. So thank you for uh, your Aurafil. Um, we will vouch for that. Yes, there's purchases. Lots of thread color. Yep. <laughs> there's a lot, mm -hmm. and we had the opportunity to pick up a used thread cabinet, and we were so excited <laughs> about it because we were like, "This is yeah. going to get us so organized." Yeah. They don't no. fit. <laughs> Good it's work. from another thread company, but you know, they look exactly the same and they're not. So I made Eric throw it out the other day. So I was like, just get rid of it. It's got to go. So I was mm. kind of bummed about that. I we was. were so excited. <laughs> we were so excited to have it in order. Especially since it was free. Since it was free. Free is good. Free is good. Organized is even better. It didn't work. Oh, no. well. Maybe someday I will be saying, hey, look at the new Aurafil cabinet I got. Who knows? So, um, okay. I never do this, ever. I never show you guys something that is in progress. The reason is I feel this immense pressure when I show you something I'm working on 
that you're gonna want it right away and that you're anxious for it and I feel this like I have to hurry up and get it done but the reason I'm gonna break my rule two things I did show this to you a long time ago summertime we were over on the other side that's how long ago it was but I have a date that it's going to be released because it is a Janome project that I did and it becomes mine again uh, December 15th so sometime that week the middle of December it will be released so you probably don't remember maybe you do I showed this to you is probably June or July this is the Evie uh, crossbody bag this is uh, let's see here there's some pockets there's lots of pockets inside this is a nice sized uh, messenger type bag this was something I designed for Janome and they are using it right now for their own um, I think online classes it's hard to say with anything right now but in my wanting to release it and get it ready for release I was looking it over and um, a couple of friends and my mom and my husband and I were looking at it and realized that it looked a little bit too familiar to another bag I actually plagiarized myself um, <laughs> who knew you could do that without realizing it you know I'm suing myself right now I don't know if you guys ever do that but you you see the difference and you're mm -hmm. like no it has all these things and then someone else is like no it looks mm -hmm. just like the other one because you, you're in your own mm -hmm. like little box and you kind of don't look at it so I changed up the flap the rest of it is say, the same the size is the same the crossbody style um, I changed up the flap and I super love it now and I'm actually carrying one right now because I wanted to kind of try it out and it's the perfect size for me so I have samples to show you okay so in no particular order well actually I'm gonna show you this one first I lied Ooh. this is the updated version the oh, other nice. one I just showed I like you that. that was so. three right <laughs> oh, <that laughs> they're always me. this is this is Marlene's this is yours or this one uh, not the one not with the okay pink. no not the You're one with the pink, pink. um so <laughs> this is what I deal with I'm grateful <laughs> for these knuckleheads so oh, this what I did for me without the pink zipper <laughs> no I can't I don't make bags <laughs> It's a giant flap. And you might be thinking, what on earth do I need this for? What do I need this for? But let me tell you. Your iPad, my iPad. Your iPad will fit in there. Your and book. Your this book. This is a test. Are we supposed to guess? Yes, you did. You both did, did well. well. Your yes. Sewing machine manual. You can, your sewing machine manual. But I have been carrying one, and I keep my phone and my wallet in here so that when I'm somewhere and I would just oh. want to get it quick, and it, you can, you know, just open you can just it. open here. So you get this nice, ready for travel, whenever we're ready for travel. I figured if I'm going on a plane, I got my Passport. iPad, I've got I everything go. I need. Under here, I've got my zippered pocket, open pockets, tons of pockets inside. So mm. I'm ready, but I can also use it as a purse and make it nice and handy. Uh, for those of you that don't live in cold weather, whatever, lucky you, Diana and Shelly, and all you people that live in warm <laughs> states, the only benefit right now that I will say to it being cold is that with winter coats, pockets. I always have my phone and my keys <laughs> in my pocket. That's the only way that I will remember the coat because in the beginning of winter, I don't know about you guys, I forget my coat all the time. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, it is cold out. Or I wear yeah. it in the morning and forget it in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter the temperature. This is an all season bag. <laughs> so there is that one. And these are all going to be kitted and ready with the pattern release. This one, which Barb's not like the pink, but that's okay. Uh, it's pretty, but it's, it's not pretty, for me. but it's not for her, no. and that's fine. I wanted something really light. It is pretty. Yes. So that's the rose gold, and that's the new strawberry fields canvas. So you I'm can see how they look it. together. And I've told you guys pretty. eighteen like times already that I don't like red. This is my oh, favorite Marlene one. Does. Yeah. Marlene does, and this is my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the three, I, I keep know. saying it, and then red's like, "Wait, we'll convince you." And now, yeah, this is. This is actually closer to the orange cork, mm. but the tomato red just works so nicely with everything that's in here. And I did not see this until I was sewing. There are tiny little ladybugs oh, yeah. in the print, which I did not see because they're they're like they're just little. sporadically placed yeah. around there. I just love this canvas and I love it with the tomato red. So there, I converted. I like red now. I'm not wearing it, <laughs> but I like it. So that is the EV messenger bag that will be ready in a few weeks as weird as that I is to say it. it's gonna be yeah. yay and um, I also took 
whenever I go to like a sewing weekend, I try to be prepared so that I get the most done that I can. And I would say, if you saw the picture I posted, I think I finished eight bags. I think I, I did, I hit that goal. But I also, I like to take that time. Something about it just makes my brain wanna just play with stuff. And I did get a chance to play with a couple of other ideas. One will be a video release. It won't be a formal pattern. Um, and the other one is something I was working on last night. So I'm hoping before the end of this year that you will have at least two, possibly three new patterns. Yes, Barb. Can you show the back of that one again? Yes. There's nothing on the back. Okay. But there remember, you can move things. If you want that zipper pocket on the back or you want something else on the back, it's your bag. You can do whatever you want. I did everything under the flap just because, again, it made it a little bit different. But if you want easy access to a pocket on the back, add another pocket or move a pocket. It's your bag. You make it to your <laughs> specifications. And I, I broke my other bag because it finally, I wore it to death. And I was carrying a different bag and I, not every bag of mine works for me because I carry a lot of junk. And it was working, but I wasn't in love with it. It just wasn't big enough. And this bag is perfect. I can't overload it, but it holds all my stuff just fine. I still have extra room, so. Will it hold my big fat wallet? You know how yeah. that big fat wallet I've got? Yes, it will, because it holds two zippered pouches I have, plus a wallet, okay, good. plus a bottle of I hairspray. Like <laughs> I like hairspray. <laughs> Listen. I am who I am. You should know this by now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there. I never do that, but now you guys got a little, a little bonus. So, before I show you our quick projects, last, the week before last, I showed you some of the little projects that I like to make when I'm making um, bags for somebody or when I need something quick. So, I, we talked about wallets, we talked about some of the quick things, but I kind of forgot some of the bigger things that are also quick. And in the group, there's been a ton of posts with the Taurus tote bag. Mm -hmm. It is one of my favorite bags because it's so quick. Mm -hmm. And it's a universal bag that you can make with cork, without cork, with heavy fabric, with light fabric. You can mix this up, you can add pockets, you can leave it plain. There's no hardware required. There's no zippers, there's no pockets. You either leave it quick and simple or you add to it however you want. And I have a lot of people that make like baby quilts or housewarming quilts and make this as like an extra gift. Here's your quilt in a bag. Or mm -hmm. you bought some things for somebody and you don't know what to give them. Maybe they're not somebody that carries a purse or a wallet. Everybody can use a tote bag. Everybody uses them now for everything. I have a bunch of them. My husband says I am truly the epitome of a bag lady and I need someone to carry all the bags for me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a hint because he's not doing it, but he says I need someone to carry all of my bags. So the Taurus tote bag, super, super quick. There's a ton of them posted in the group. So if you wanna go look at what other people have done, nice, easy gift. You can even do these for the men in your life. Cause men, Charlie, you know, you guys are hard to buy for sometimes. <laughs> We're, you know, perfume, makeup, clothing, <laughs> sewing. Chocolate. There's so many things men are like, well, I like food. You know, <laughs> my husband, beer. no, no, D beer. My husband uh, had to give my mom ideas for Christmas. <laughs> I was like, just pick something out for years. Black We've been together for 15 years. For almost every Christmas, my mother has bought him t-shirts. Now he wears his work shirts all the time. So I'm like, well, t-shirts are out. So she bought him some kind of oil drum thing. And she said, <laughs> that thing's really heavy. I made Dan carry it upstairs. I said, what'd you carry it upstairs for? You're going to put it back downstairs later anyway. Whatever. So, Taurus tote bag. Um, Barb knows, because she's made a hundred of these. Yeah. The Everly. And this is the bag that I carry for about a week and a half. It's not big enough for me. I'm sorry. She's adorable, but she's not big enough. Barb can make these in her sleep because she makes <laughs> them for Banyan Batiks all the time. Um, and so I think there's some of these in the group too. This, mm -hmm. even though it's a backpack and it has a lot of hardware, it's actually a pretty quick bag to it make. It, I love this for the preteens and you know mm -hmm. the nieces and the nephews and the people you don't know what to make. They love backpacks. Uh, I did carry one of these for a while. Apparently, over the past five years, I've started to carry way too much stuff, and it doesn't fit in here. <laughs> Tabitha. Ta this is the purse size. Tabitha also comes taller in a tote size. So Tabitha is one of those that you can make simple or you can make complicated. You want to add a zipper, add a ton of pockets, add hardware, or you want to keep it as simple as possible. This one's wool. You can do this out of cork, out of fabric. The pattern itself has tons of stuff and different options in it. So if you want to make a purse for somebody, but you're struggling on time, this is a great one. And 
the wool that I used, it was a fat quarter. So the purse doesn't take a lot for the outside. You can really show off one of those nice prints that you've been hoarding for a while. So Tabitha is a nice quick make. Charlie has a suggestion. For the men? Yes. <laughs> yes, tell me, Charlie, please. <laughs> you may want to shorten the handles just a bit for a man. Those handles are for putting over shoulders, and lots of men don't carry them that way. Thank I you, I carry Charlie. mine in my hand, and I wish the handles were a touch shorter. Thank you, Charlie. So See, the next one you make, in, Charlie, shorten the handles. Insight into things that I don't know because I'm not a dude. Yeah. So that is a that's actually a really good suggestion. My husband has been forced to carry one of these, not in manly colors, but <laughs> like this, usually when we're going back yeah. and forth to shows. And I come to think of it, I don't know if he, I don't know how he carried it, but that's a really good point. Yeah. I watched something else, the difference between men and women, random things. Some video I was watching that this girl said, and now you're gonna watch every man in your life and see if it's true, that women bring food to their mouths and men bring them to their face oh to the God, food. I have to watch Sean. Watch Sean and Shayna tonight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it's. I was thinking about it. I'm like, you're right, because I pick food up, and I have seen Eric yeah. lean down. <laughs> you're welcome. We cover <laughs> everything <so> here. <laughs> and Sue Smith, I know you're watching, and I know that this is your go-to bag because you've told me and you've told our group the Emily, the little version of the bag that I copied of myself. <laughs> You're allowed to plagiarize your own stuff. It's totally okay. <laughs> so Emily, again, zipper on the back, a little bit of hardware, pocket open inside, great size. I did carry one of these for a while. Yeah, I That's can't anymore. It's way too small, but it's adorable. It, this is a show travel purse. Mm -hmm. This is when I can separate some of those things that I don't actually need anyway and carry. Um, yes, so this is not when I'm like every day when I have to carry extra phones and you know mm -hmm. things like that so this does not fit an iPad at least not my iPad but the Emily so last time I showed you little things today I thought I would show you some of the bigger things the tote bags that I just showed you the cross-country tote from the current issue of quilts and more those I did not cut out before I went to my sewing weekend I cut them out and sewed them each within a few hours they're nice and quick because again there's no, there's minimal hardware no zippers and some of the other magazine projects i've seen a lot of the holiday swaps that are getting little extras a lot of the train cases the little you know zippered bags these are nice and quick because they all the magazine projects were beginner friendly so if you're looking for something a little bit bigger than a zippered pouch or a wallet we do still have some quick and easy things so let's get into today's fun little projects one you probably made maybe you've you thought about it and actually not gotten to it um and one is brand new for you guys that i'm going to upload to the group later so let's talk first about tassels this is the double tassel that goes on the piper bag this is the little free tutorial which i'm not going to rewrite it and save this in the group it is on the website this takes minimal time minimal effort and a little bit of cork and a swivel hook so i thought i would show you this today just a real quick overview on how to make these i make one for every bag that i have and put it on every single bag because i just think they're cute i have one yeah. for a keychain you know just a little something extra and the instructions are based on a four by five yes a four by five scrap of cork you can make these bigger or smaller actually the tassels yeah they're you know they're the same size but this is from the Piper. I just did a long uh, strip here so that I can tie it on to something and just a, for a different look. Use whatever you have. Make these different sizes if you want to. Real simple. Again, there's already a tutorial for it. I use a 4 by 5 piece of cork, okay, just a scrap. I don't do any finishing or anything on this. I don't use the fabric fusion. I just need this, this, and a swivel hook. That's the Guterman glue. On the back... So, all right, from the top, you're gonna trim a half inch strip. That's gonna be for your swivel hook. And on the back, you draw a line three quarters of an inch down. Cut that little strip in half. That goes into your swivel hook, like this. I glue that together while I'm doing my trimming. And on the back here, where the line is, I just trim either with scissors or a rotary cutter right up to the line. Um, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. I don't measure. You can see they're all kind of different sizes. It doesn't make any difference at all. It's, it's not a project to overthink. It's a quick and easy project. Barb, did you or did 
Marlene taught it at one of your I retreats. Did. She taught it I at did. my retreat. <laughs> Marlene taught it at one of the retreats as like a free little extra giveaway and had a bunch of people lined up at a table and just mm -hmm. kind of showed them all at once. Um, we did these at a couple of shows as a make and take and I would have six people making them yeah. and they'd be out in five minutes. So I think the most difficult part was um, <laughs> explaining to people how to use a small ruler. <laughs> I have no idea why. We understand this but we don't understand the long skinny ones and a couple people were really struggling with them and it's just a smaller version of this and I think that was the the longest part <laughs> I was trying to say it's the same thing it's just smaller it's our brains just look at things sometimes and are like no it's not the same so that was really the most challenging part and then we would have glue and fumes from glue all over I think I was sniffing glue most of the, that show so once this is done and once this is trimmed I use my glue and I just glue and roll. Give it a few minutes, add a little binding clip if you want while it's drying, and that's it. So, like I said, I put them on everything. I use them as keychains, I add them onto every purse. They're everywhere. They're on almost every sample, too, because I just think they're really mm -hmm. cute. And you don't need special hardware. There is um, out there, there's a lot of different ways of doing this. There's little caps and little things. I didn't want to get into it. We already have the swivel hooks, they're easy, they're cheap. So, and they look cute. And they're yeah. cute. So, now, this is a new project I have. Making room. This okay. one, we haven't even seen this. They I'm haven't excited. even seen this. So, wow. I wrote a little one page. I'm going to upload this into the files of the group Aww. when we're done. I know. Yeah. Who's efficient? Yeah. Wow. So, yes. So, Do we have copies of that. <laughs> yes. Aw. Isn't that a great boss we have? <laughs> Nice perk for the job. Yeah, I got a copy. <laughs> okay, so you guys are funny. So this is a little chapstick holder. Perfect. Or a hand sanitizer holder. Or what did you say the first one? Chapstick. chapstick. You use it all the time. I thought you said chapstick. It's for your chopsticks. chopsticks. If you eat a lot of food Chinese. with them, you can make it for your chapsticks. I make it you know? longer and narrower. And now Barb, Barb's done. She's completely lost her marbles. Or you can make, this is my knife holder. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna chime in here for just a second. Speaking of men, <laughs> sorry, I'm not picking on you, Charlie, you know that. But because men, sometimes it's hard to know what to buy for them. I bought one of these for my husband and I also bought one for our mechanic last year and I have my own, my Leatherman tool. If you have a handy kind of guy or girl, and I'm not, obviously, I. I'm a girl, I use one, but I'm saying it's always the guys that are the hard ones to buy for. If you're looking for a fun something, you know, something that's not super expensive, I think it's in like the $75 to $80 range, but it's worth it. It's a tool that has the pliers. It's kind of like an upgraded Swiss Army knife. I carry this, I use this all the time with cutting boxes open. This is, this one has the saw on it in case I need to cut a tree down. It happens sometimes. <laughs> you can hook it on your belt, but I'm not gonna do that because girls pants are stretching it would not end well <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff in here my husband I get tired of using his all the time um, and I bought this one because it was pretty colored and, but it and the yeah. cork matches it and the cork matches it and it matches my business colors um, our mechanic is obsessed with lime green his toolbox his tools everything's lime green they had one in lime green and his knife up until I bought him one was horrible. And every time I'd use it, I was like, this doesn't work. It's not sharp. You need to sharpen it. So it's just a nice gift when you're looking for, you know, that I don't know what to get you. I need a stocking stuffer. So I carry this with me all the time. And I made a little holder for it because why not? So I'm going to show you how to make Oops, how these, to throw things around. how to throw things around, how to make these little chapstick holders, not chopstick, chap. Chapstick. Quick question. Yes. That's the Piper, right? The gray one? Yes. In okay. the canvas. Okay. So what you're going to need is going to depend on the size of the thing you're making it for. So I'm just going to show you how to do the chapstick one. I have all the notes on here, so don't worry about it. I told you how I did my measurements, so you don't have to remember any of this. It'll all be there for you. So you can save all these little pieces of cork, all these little scraps, because they work for these little projects. So for this one, well, for any of them, you're going to need two pieces that are gonna be your front and back, okay? They're put together so that it's nice and finished. And you're gonna need a piece for your pocket 
and a little strip for your swivel hook. You need um, thread and a swivel hook and this. I didn't use any glue. I didn't even use my iron. I didn't use anything except for my machine. If you want, just like we talked about with those card holders, if you want to seal your edges, you can use the Fabric Fusion. I would if I was giving these as gifts. I didn't for, um, for today. And if you have Guterman and you want to glue your pieces together like we did the last time with the cards, you can do that too. It's totally up to you. I did these just sitting at my machine. It took me literally a minute to make this super quick. So what I did is I took my chapstick and I don't use this kind of chapstick, which does fit. I use like those tubes that are wider. So I wanted to make sure it would fit this. So I measured the widest part and I round it up. I always go a little bit bigger than I think I need. So I round it up to whatever the even number was here. And let me see what my measurements are. So it was about an inch and a half. So I went up to two inches for this, two inches across. My width on this was about three and a half. So I did four, that way it would sit down. So I just measured my, roughly measured my object, went a half inch taller and a half inch wider. I will say if you're doing something like this, the little um, hand sanitizer, you might want to add an extra quarter of an inch, maybe go a little bit bigger. It fits in there nice and snug, but if you wanted a little bit more room, um, I kind of like how tight it is in there because I don't want it to fall mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And I could use it while it's still in here if I want. The knife is really snug. Like it's, I can shake it out, but it's pretty snug in there. So, you know, kind of use your judgment. You can go a little bit bigger. If it's too big, you can always fix it. I'll show you how to do that. So all I did was cut my two pieces. I put them wrong sides together. And I'm making sure I'm saying it correct because I actually said it wrong last time in the video. I sh told you correctly and I said it wrong and somebody asked me and said, you said right, but it looks wrong and it is. So wrong sides together. So let me see here, here we go. So I've got two pieces of purple and you can use scraps. This, these aren't even the same colors. I put my two pieces together glue them if you want to skip the glue if you want to stitch around you have your swivel hook which this is a one inch because i use that on the knife holder just for a little bit because it was a little bit heavier you add that in here so i just kind of put that on my swivel hook slid it in there i sew around eighth of an inch take my little pocket and i like to top stitch on the pocket you can, you can use your fancy stitches. You can do whatever you want. I just used um, the 28 weight, so I'd have a nice, thick, heavy thread on it. Top stitch, take that pocket, add it on just like that, stitch around, and you're done. It's the longest that it takes is the measuring part because you need to know what your different objects are, but I used that same chapstick one. I put a little lipstick in this one. You can put a regular chapstick in here. You could make these for really anything that you want. If you want to organize your bag or if you're giving someone a little gift, um, these are my favorite chapsticks. You can get them on Sephora and Amazon, but they're really, really nice. I love <laughs> them. Listen, you are going to be a a some of you like Sephora. <laughs> some of you shop on Amazon. I don't care. But this is, I don't know, Mario Badescu. I don't know how to say his name. But I love this. And so, like, if, you know, I want to make, I might make these for my sister's roommates. You know, just they're 20 21 they're just a little something they can hang in their you know in their bag or their book bag you have a little have a little extra something but you can make these for anything you want you want to give out hand sanitizer everybody's yeah, everybody still using that. that this is the little yeah. bath and body works one so i got a bunch of those so you can make these as little stocking stuffers add them into your own purse just a quick, easy little, you know, perfect for extra. the kids going to school. Yeah. For exactly, their exactly. Put them, you know, or make one for the kids. You could even, if you have an embroidery machine, like we talked about, you want to put their name on here, or if you want, you know, you want to embellish this in any way you can. This is about as simple as it's going to get. I used a contrasting thread because I thought it looked pretty. Do whatever you want. You could put names on them. You know, you could even make them the size of gift cards if that's how you want to give a gift card out so they have a little extra, you know, something they can hook on. Charlie likes the chapstick holder idea. He said, with a little clip, you're ready for emergency lo mein. You know, <laughs> if, you, if you find yourself in a situation where all of a sudden there's lo mein in front of you and you're like, I have a chopstick holder, it would be very tall and thin. 
That's what you he know. said, those long leftover you know, strips. You have to be prepared for everything. And it's 2020, <laughs> like so this. literally anything could happen. You, and you, put your you know, and you put <laughs> your chopsticks in there. All right, I'm going to get chopsticks, like and I'm making a chopstick holder <laughs> just because, and I'm sending it to everybody. Um, <laughs> so that was just a quick and easy one. I, I don't know what I'm on today, but I'm insane. It's these two. So I will upload this and upload a picture so you have that in there. Oh, and Sue also suggested, you know, a hundred dollar bill folded up fits in that line. So tell everybody's husband, you yeah. know. Oh, there you go. Smith? Yeah. Well, Sue, now you Add know what to get money. us. Now I know what <laughs> Sue's getting us for Christmas. And get yourselves, get yourselves some gift cards. Tell your spouses and your the kids that are like, I don't know what to buy you. Give me a gift card to so many creations. You know, there's always on there. Get a gift card to your local quilt shop. You know, just mm -hmm. to so that you're supporting them and you have free money for later because i don't know about you guys i don't know how are you stand on this but when i get a gift card i will not spend it until i've waited and waited and waited and then i'm like free money i don't immediately spend it i like to hang on to it i like to kind of think it over and then when i'm like i want something and i don't have any money then i have free money so i hold on to mine for a little while and then i i have my little splurge I have a tendency to forget them if i hold on too long. that is a problem that is a problem yes but i am not one of those people that immediately is like no. i'm going to use it i need to think my purchase over. That's I need to see if there's, you know, a sale or see what I, well, what do I really, right to the computer. <laughs> well, what do I want that I don't want to spend my own money buying? Mm -hmm. That's, you know, especially if it's like clothing and makeup, I'm like, ooh, what's that item that's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's free, uh -huh. so I'll go and buy it, you know? <laughs> so I'm not buying socks and underwear with gift cards. I'm just saying that, you know? <laughs> so now you know everything about me you never wanted to know. And we're making chopstick holders. <laughs> there you go. So... <laughs> Do I get to patent that? Yes. <laughs> we can go to Barb's chopstick holder. <laughs> so that is going to do it. <laughs> I hope you learned Bob something was today. Hold on. <laughs> These, uh, they're gone. They're they're here, but they're not here. So we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we will see you guys next Friday for a pop up sale that will be it's absolute be chaos and frenzy, but it's going to be good. So. Get yourselves ready for some of the easiest Black Friday shopping you've ever done and the hardest that I've ever hosted. So I will see you guys next week. Be kind, be nice to each other, and thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh.